There are three things you must know about the iPhone before you update to iOS 16, which comes out on September 12th, 2022. Let me show you exactly what to look for. First, make sure your iPhone is compatible with iOS 16. Go to settings over here and then go to general and then click on about. And right over here, it says iPhone model, model name. You have to make sure you have iPhone 8 or later. So if you're not sure, this is where you could check what iPhone model you have. 7 and below will not be able to download iOS 16. 8 or later will be able to download iOS 16. Step two is creating an iCloud backup. Click on your name right here. Go down to iCloud right over here. And then you wanna create an iCloud backup. Click this right here and make sure this is turned on or you could just press backup now. I just backed mine up, but all you have to do is press backup now. If you don't have enough space on iCloud, you may wanna upgrade to the paid version that starts at 99 cents. So you make sure it's actually downloading a version of everything on your phone to iCloud makes it easier to transfer later. And the last setting that you should check before updating to iOS 16 is, again, go to settings, go to general. And if you're updating your phone here to iOS 16, you need to go to iPhone storage right over here. And you need to make sure you have enough space because iOS 16, as you can see, is about five gigs, but you may wanna have up to 10, 12 gigs here in order for this to have an installation process without issues. So what you wanna do is look through these items right here. If you have podcasts, for example, you could go ahead and remove some of these podcasts to make space. So just by removing old podcasts, for example, on mine, I could remove space. If you have things on your messages, you may wanna delete video attachments, for example. And if your photo is taking up a lot of space, you could delete duplicates or use another service like iCloud to back this up and remove them from your physical device, your physical iPhone here, to make sure this dark gray area shows at least 10 gigabytes of free storage. Now, once you have all that, you are ready for iOS 16, so you come back to this page under general, go to software updates, and then make sure this is turned on to automatic updates, and it will actually go ahead and download this when it's available for your device, and then all you have to do is press install and you will have the new iOS 16 update on your iPhone. And make sure you check out tomorrow's video for all the new updates and all the new things you could do with iOS 16. I'll see you next time.